I'd like to tell you about the origin of the XPRIZE Foundation. Since the age of nine, my mission in life has been to fly into space and take other people with me. I went and got a six-pack of degrees to become a private astronaut. And then when I was at MIT, I, I recognized that flying in the government astronaut program was not what I wanted to do. I didn't want to fly just once or twice to space in 10 years. I wanted to be able to go when I wanted to go, just like a mountain climber could climb mountains or an underwater explorer could put on their scuba gear and go, but the technology to do that didn't exist. I was finishing up my pilot's license and a good friend of mine, the executive director of, uh, of the XPRIZE Foundation the Future, Greg Marinak, gave me a book called The Spirit of St. Louis. Now, I had no idea that Lindbergh actually crossed the Atlantic to win a $25,000 prize. I thought he woke up one day and decided to fly east. But it turned out a Frenchman, Raymond Orteig, who had been born in Paris, moved to New York, who loved aviation, put up this $25,000 prize for the first person to fly between New York and Paris. As I'm reading this book, I recognize that nine different teams spent $400,000 16 times the prize amount to win this $25,000 prize. And the most likely guy to win, Admiral Byrd, takes off and crashes on takeoff. He spends $100,000 and goes no place. And the most unlikely player, this young upstart that no one knew about, you know, called the flying fool, Charles Lindbergh, takes off on May 19th out of Roosevelt Field and 33 and a half hours later lands uh, in Paris and becomes the most famous human on the planet. What an incredible thing. And it hit me that it was not that the technology changed it, it was his bravery. And the fact that he changed the paradigm of human aviation travel. Within 18 months of Lindbergh's flight, the number of passengers went from 6,000 to 180,000 people in the United States. Number of airplanes quadrupled, number of pilots tripled, aviation stocks took off through the roof this incredible power of prizes. And by the time I had finished reading this Spirit of St. Louis book, which I commend to all of you, um, the idea of the X Prize came to mind. An idea of, can we create a prize large enough to attract private companies to build a new generation of spaceships, to carry you and I into space? The X for X Prize originally stood for the name of the future donor. I didn't know who was going to put up the $10 million, and I used X as the variable, and you know, it took me so long to find the Ansari family, the X stuck around. And you know, X for Roman numeral 10, for 10 million, for experimental, for exceptional, you know, X Games, it really worked as a great name. And we ended up, uh, I was living in Washington, D.C., the X Prize was, hang was in my basement, I funded it out of my own pocket initially, and was looking for a home. And St. Louis became our home. A good friend, Doug King, who was the head of the St. Louis Science Center, uh, and then a gentleman, Al Kurth, who was very special in the origin of the X Prize Foundation, Mark Arnold, um, and uh, uh, Dick Fleming. Many people said, Come to St. Louis. You know, St. Louis is where Lindbergh got his funding, St. Louis is where the Mercury and Gemini capsules were built for McDonald uh, Corporation. So we did. And on May 18th of 1996, we launched the X Prize under the arch in St. Louis. Uh, we had no money, we had no teams, but we had 20 astronauts on stage, the head of NASA, Patty Smith, the associate administrator, the FAA, the Lindbergh family, and it was an incredible launch, and uh, it became real. And then, of course, you know, from 1996 to 2004, eight years later, this incredible path we took of registering 26 teams from seven countries, finding Anusha Ansari and Hamid and Amir, the Ansari family, who became our, our great patrons, and we, of course, named the Ansari X Prize after them because uh, they put up the capital uh, to fulfill our promise. And, uh, of course, on October 4th of 2004, when Bert Rutan's uh, beautiful Spaceship One, funded by Paul Allen, made that flight. Two flights actually within five days to 100 kilometers altitude. And now Spaceship One is hanging in the Air and Space Museum, right above the Apollo 11 capsule and next to the Spirit of St. Louis that inspired the concept in the first place. It's been an incredible ride, and I hope you'll stay tuned as we launch 
amazing XPRIZE is to bring about revolutions and breakthroughs in other industries.